looking much sunnier. The question is, what will this do in the Gulf right now? Because this could potentially impact us at some point, if not this weekend, going into parts of next week. So we've got a 70% chance that the system will become Arlene within the next 48 hours. We're looking at the next several days, certainly development there. We've got a circulation that has been detected by the hurricane hunters. They've flown into it. You can see here that showers and thunderstorms are spinning up through areas of Tampa, Fort Myers, heavy downpours with this for them, but also some gusts showing you just around the center of the circulation, the ocean buoy is picking up anywhere from 35 to now 40 miles an hour. And so we'll be watching for some slow development of the system and water temperature certainly warming to support it. We've got those low 80s out there in the Gulf of Mexico rain or rain and also low pressure system cooled right there. But of course, it's got warm energy nearby. It's likely going to move south as we head into the weekend and eventually it might move up along the southeastern coast. So we'll be checking for that over the next several days. Right now, though, scattered showers are rolling in from this low that has been sitting with us for several days. The upper low has begun to weaken. A ridge of high pressure starting to strengthen and that'll be important to continue our trend of warming you up. We've got 75 degrees right now in Greensboro, 76 in Burlington in the six o'clock hour. So this is nice tomorrow. How about 84 degrees? We should be much warmer. That ridge of high pressure centering itself a little bit closer to us and with a warming trend and more sunshine, we expect to see really comfortable conditions. 58 degrees in the foothills to near 80 three tomorrow winds out of the northeast anywhere from five to ten and in the mountains 53 degrees in the morning with a little patchy fog we take you up to 75 good sunshine for you and a dry day dew point temperatures notably too are drying out and so this is one of the reasons we think we're also going to be a little bit warmer less humid for us tomorrow a bit more humid as we go into sunday into early monday but not considerably so and next week even drier conditions setting up as dew points may dip back into the 40s i really like that trend as we take a look at that seven day forecast we have 80 84 degrees on your Friday, 85 Saturday, just a slight chance of showers with some of those clouds that are going to mix in on your Sunday. And on Monday, too, we've got 80 degrees with a storm chance on Tuesday. This is a very summer like pattern, an afternoon shower here or there. We don't have significant fronts coming in. The one that you will notice will be on the one on Sunday as well. For your Friday, do you know that we have not seen 84 degrees since about May 9th? And this will be one of our warmer days so far since May 9th. Now, 85 will be the warmest of 2023 if we happen to make it there. We do expect to see just that slight chance of a shower, but a lot of folks heading out to Bowman Gray for the racing event. I don't think this is going to be a washout like it was last weekend. You should stay dry, an isolated shower chance, but warm in the stands, 83 degrees, and it will feel a little more summer like as the humidity comes up just a touch heading into your Sunday. 73, so we drop you back about 10 degrees with the clouds in front coming in. Then we warm you right back up for Monday. Looking great though, heading over to the next several days, milder on your Wednesday, and just mixing in some clouds with 80 degrees on Wednesday. And so a nice feeling forecast. Finally, we get some sunshine in here.